Good morning. Our gathering hymn this morning is number 258. 258, Turn to Me. 258. Our gathering hymn number 258, Turn to Me. Turn to me, or turn and be saved, says the Lord, oh, I am God. There is no other one beside me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The brethren, in order to worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, so that you may prosper. But they obey not, nor did they pay heed. They walk in the harness of their evil hearts and turn their back, not their face, to me. From the day that your father left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me nor paid heed. They have stiffened their neck and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, if today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalm to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherd, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your heart, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your father tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of the bull, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against the house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by the Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, why whom do you own people? Drive out them out. Therefore there will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when the stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. 
Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Literally, the word devil is not just simply the connotation of evil, but in itself connotes division. That is why some wise men would always say, be mindful of your actions and the things that you do. If your actions causes division, the devil might be working on you. Jesus today in our gospel also healed those who are afflicted by the devil. It is always pinpointed in our gospel that it's always by the devil that also divides them with the loving Lord. The power of the devil or the evil one not only connotes certain power or physical power, it is also by the pattern of what you call divisiveness and sinfulness. And because of this, they will be able to scatter and be taken out from the very presence of God. And thus Jesus continued to tell his disciples to always be rooted with him, to always be with his presence, because as he said, whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. We hold on our hearts, our spirits, always united in the loving Lord. We pray that we will always become one and unitive in our own personal disposition. We promote unity among us, and thus, because of that, we will be able to truly appreciate the loving presence of the loving Lord. As what he said, where two or three are gathered in my name. I am in their midst. In the moments of temptation and danger, let us turn to the Lord to deliver us from the evil one. May we gather with him who is our rock and our salvation. Lord, let your holy church be united by integrity of faith and by the bond of charity. Make us one as you and the Father are one, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Let the beauty of nature and the love and harmony among people be signs of your loving providence at work in the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us not harden our hearts but rather listen to your voice when you speak to our conscience and when we read the scripture, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Protect us from the snare and malice of the evil one whom you have defeated, for you are the stronger one, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. In moments of danger and severe crisis, may we trust in you and never let fear ruin our life. May we invoke the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, health of the sick, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For Margaret Laurent, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. O Lord, we call on our, in your kindness and trust in your mercy. In our distress, listen to our petitions. And let us come to possess your salvation. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 549, 549, Shepherd of Souls.
Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness, that the gifts may be pleasing to you and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of truth. To Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. You are indeed only O Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and for us your resurrection, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and bury our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honor and as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, you pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, is at your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
bar crest the 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 bar crest bar crest the 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 bar crest Go to the sick and the homebound, that not only the sacrament was celebrated, but also the word of God which you have heard. So let's the affection of this parish community as for the price of those whom you to visit in return. Go now God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in the mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire to Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered when I go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 381. 381. Glory and praise to our God.
Thank you. 